Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I want to raise a point of order under the standing order number 42. Mr. President, may you permit me to read, please. Have, have you decided to come under order 42? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Mr. President, I read, by the indulgence of the Senate and the leave of the President of the Senate, a senator may make a personal explanation, although there be no question before the Senate, but no controversial matter may be brought forward, nor may debate arise upon the explanation. The terms of the proposed statement shall be submitted in detail to the President of the Senate when his leave to make it is sought. So, Mr. President, um, under this order, I want to present the current situation in Mangu local government of Plateau State. And in this case, under my personal explanation, the Senate notes with deep concern the horrendous task, uh, attack on several communities in Mango local government of Plateau State on Saturday, the 20th of May, 2023. These communities that were attacked include Alohom, Kantoma, Sabongeri, Fungzai, Murish, Kombun, Panyam, Kwakas, Washmar, Pushit, Larkas, Joakchan, and others, with over 200 persons killed and more than 100 houses, I mean 1,000 houses raised. The Senate further notes that the attack has led to displacement of thousands of people who are now housed in IDP camps without shelter or much care and livelihood. It is therefore concerned that the attackers came on over 20, um, 70 bikes, that is the attackers, came on these communities over 20 bikes in doubles with assault rifles, killing everyone at sight, including pregnant women. Mr. President, some of us have witnessed this on the uh, television, how people have been um, left on their own, roaming about, and also running for their lives. The prayers. Senate condemns in strong terms the terror attacks on communities in Plateau State and urge the milit military high command and IGP to secure the communities from threats of further attacks. It all, uh, the prayer also includes Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and FEMA to provide immediate relief to the IDP camps. And thirdly, it observes, we should observe a one minute silence in honor of the victims of the terror attacks. Mr. President, this is my presentation. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, uh, our colleague has come under our standing order 41, which is personal explanation. No, 42, sorry. Which is personal explanation. 
this subject is not open to debate, but let me uh, reiterate that there is need for our security agencies to continue to provide security to improve the situation across the country. And this particular incident that happened in the Mongo local government of Plateau State, part of our senatorial district, is a very sad development, and we hope that there will be no recurrence. And of course, there should be an improvement in the security immediately uh, to make sure that there is no uh, infiltration by those people or their agents into the communities. And of course, we expect that the uh, Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, uh, through NEMA, will provide some relief to those that are displaced or those that have been wounded. So with this, I want us to observe a, a minute silence in honor of those that were killed. So we observe a minute silence, please.